Hello everyone, Hound Dog with you, and here we are in the Vault Sikorsky SB2U Vindicator, another historical aircraft from the past 100 years of U.S. Navy carrier aviation. Today is December 15, 1937, and we will be taking off from the North Island Naval Air Station, San Diego, California, to the USS Saratoga CV-3 for an arrested landing and free deck launch. Clear prop. Radio check, one, two, three, three, two, one, radio check. The tower has cleared us for takeoff, and traffic looks clear. Controls are free. Power coming up. Instruments check good. We are rolling. Armed with two 7mm machine guns in the nose and two 20mm 
9mm cannons in the wings. The SB2U was evaluated against the Brewster XSBA1, Curtis XSBC3, Great Lakes XB2G, Grumman XSBF1, and Northrop XBT1. All but the Great Lakes and Grumman submissions were ordered into production. Designated XSB2U-1, one prototype was ordered on 15 October 1934 and was delivered on 15 April 1936. Accepted for operational evaluation on 2 July 1936, the prototype crashed on 20 August 1936. Since the Vindicator prototype had successfully completed trials prior to the crash, the Navy decided to order the first 54 SB2U-1s and subsequently ordered an additional 125 aircraft in various models with added armor and fuel capacity. Vault Sikorsky went on to build another 90 aircraft known as Chesapeake Mark 1s for export to France and England. The SB2Us were obsolete by the beginning of World War II and saw limited use. It was eclipsed by the better performing Northrop BT-1 and its successor, the Douglas SBD Dauntless. The Vindicators did serve on the carriers Lexington, Saratoga, Ranger, and Wasp from December 1937 to September 1942. The SB2U's only combat was at the Battle of Midway with Marine Scout Bombing Squadron 241, which resulted in heavy losses. The Marine pilots called it the vibrator or wind indicator. The SB2U's fabric covered aft fuselage tended to tear and the lack of adequate dive brakes limited the aircraft to shallower dives in the 30 to 45 degree range increasing its vulnerability to anti-aircraft fire. Marine Captain Richard E. Fleming was shot down while leading SB2U-3 Vindicators in the attack on 5 June 1942, for which he was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. Due to the obsolescence and poor combat performance, all Vindicators had been transferred to training units throughout the U.S. by the end of 1942 with the largest concentration assigned to the Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Florida, where they were used for scout bomber operational training. No SB2U Vindicators survived the war, with approximately 30% lost in combat and 50% lost due to accidents and attrition. The only known Vindicator in existence is in the National Museum of Naval Aviation at NAS Pensacola, Florida. The aircraft was ditched in Lake Michigan while conducting training operations on the training aircraft carrier USS Wolverine during World War II. The aircraft was raised from a depth of 130 feet and restored for display to the public.